Right, first thing you do when you put the power on and you want to start a new song is to select a new program. Now it's got a hundred programs, so down here you'll see P01, which means it's on program one, and that is just a demo. So we need to start a new project, so we hit program select, which is over here. We hit that and it's asking us what to select. So we keep turning it clockwise until it says new program. And when it does, you come down here and hit enter yes. And then it will ask you a whole bunch of things here, which you don't need to worry about. So you just keep hitting exit no, no. And then it comes to your program four. So the first thing we need to do is I usually put that up on zero, plug your instrument or whatever you're gonna use first into number one, track one. And then over here, this is the first way I'm going to teach a recording on this, which was direct recording. You come to the direct record button here, and you hit that once. It brings you up all the boxes ready to select a track. So we've plugged into track one, so I'll select track one. Red light will start flashing. To get back to the normal screen, we hit exit no. Hit that once, and you're back to your program. Now to check the levels, before we start recording, we've got to hit this record auto punch in button. Just hit that once and that will start flashing. And then start strumming your guitar. And have a look over here at uh, channel number one and see how high your level's getting. The idea is to get it as high as you can without this little peak red light coming on. So once that starts peaking, you just back it off a little bit. And let's have a look and see what we've got. <clears throat> so once this is flashing that means it's armed and ready to rehearse and, and get ready so here we go as you can see it's coming up about halfway here so I could probably do with a little bit more gain so I'll come over to this the gain knob for channel one keep doing that and turning it up close to the top now so that will do me I think and now if I want to hear that back once I push fader one up we should start hearing something yep I can hear that loud and clear so that's quite good so we've got that up and running so the next thing we need to do now is go right I think I'll record my guitar track so we are ready to record our little guitar piece. So now we come over here, hold down the record key and push play. Now we're recording, so I'll just play a little D. should do us there for a little guitar track and when we're happy with that we can hit stop the screen will tell you to please wait and it's now ready to play back and see what we've got so what to do to get to rewind it you can either rewind which rewinds like an old tape machine or you can hold down stop and hit rewind and that takes you back to zero at the beginning and now what we do as long as that's not flashing and that what's got to be turned off push play and we'll better hear what we've done you check track one to make sure it's going yep and that's going yep okay we're happy with that so I'll stop that rewind it again because I think um, I'll think I'll put a vocal track on that so now we want to turn our guitar track off so we don't wipe over that track again. So we come back to direct record track button, hit that once, and then come up here and turn number one off. And as you can probably see here, I've plugged my microphone into track seven or 15. I'm going to come up to track 7 here and turn that one on, which starts flashing, so that's good. Go back to normal screen, so I'll hit exit no, 
and I want to check my signal on my microphone so I'll hit record auto punch in which means we're ready to test and I've got my gain up quite high here so it's only a it's not a condenser microphone link so she's not that uh, grunty so <coughs> as you can see test one two we've got our signal coming up here nice and strong so same thing again wind it up until it's not uh, and just until just beyond the red light flashing which means you'll get distortion if you see that so check one two 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 you can see it happening here so now I want to check actually before we do that uh, you probably want to turn that up first make sure you can hear it so I've got that up that sounds good it's quite nice I'll teach you in the next session how to use the EQ and, and stuff like that but for this one I'll show you the effects which will just be the default first effect which is fine for what you're doing none of the EQ or effects you're doing on it will actually um, be recorded on the main tracks so you can mix down whatever you like later so you don't have to worry about what you do to it at first just try and get a good mic sound first so anyway we want to put a reverb on that because it sounds a little dry so we come up here to a button that's called effect 1 slash effect 2 so if we hit this once we have a look up here and it says effect 1 send so okay that's ready for us to pick one of our things to set our effect on so my vocals is on track 7 so I'm going to punch track 7 and that starts flashing red and also it starts flashing on this screen so that's good we're ready to do that and it's already defaulted to a, a, a vocal reverb so I'll teach you in the next session how to change all the um, effects and what and blah 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 but for this one it'll be fine so when you see this one flashing here you've selected everything you come to your jog wheel and start winding the lever up two two until you hear a reverb that you like two two Check, check, two, two, whoa, yeah, wow, that's a big reverb, so, anyway, that will do, just to get the idea, so we're happy with that, that sounds alright, so we come back to exit no, which takes us back to normal screen, so we're back there, we're, we're back to zero, we're ready to have a trial run with the guitar, and have a bit of a sing-along with it, so, everything's ready so we once this is flashing and you can hear everything it's just ready to uh, test and try out so here we go we'll push play and when we hear the guitar we can do our track there it is so okay we've done our little vocal track so we want to check that out so we'll hit stop rewind I mean it sounded good so we're ready to record it so we're back at zero with the rewind now I'm, I'm happy with that so I'm going to record hold down record and push play and we do our track Ooh. okay that's my vocal track so I want to check that so we'll hit stop and stop recording machine says please wait which means yep you did record it rewind back back to zero make sure that's not flashing so we can monitor back what we're hearing we'll push play and check it out yep that seems to be coming through so yep we just adjust these faders to get the overall volume levels we need in the next one I'll show you how to EQ it and go a bit more elaborate on the effects so uh, okay I'm happy with that so I think I might actually do some backing vocals so uh, what I might do is do -do -do -do, turn this recording track off so I'm finished with that track so I'll go back to normal screen because I want to unplug a microphone and replug. So I'm going to come out of 15 and go into 16. I'll get it around the right way. Okay, we're in there. 
So now I want to check my levels, so I go to record track, hit track 8, which is 8 or 16, but I'm taking 8 because I want them at the top. Uh, yes, I've selected 8, it's flashing red, exit out, back to normal screen. Hit record punched so I can monitor back what I'm doing. <coughs> check, check, check. I'm going to need to turn my gain up here. I can't see nothing on here. Two, 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 two. Okay, we can see my uh, thing coming up here, so that's good. Now I've just got to turn the fader up so I can hear me. Two, 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 two. Check two, 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 two. Yep, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to put a red of reverb on this one as well. So I come to effect one and hit track eight. That's flashing in there, so that's ready. I dial this clockwise to wind my effect up. Two, two, two. Yep, I'm happy with that effect. And when you do it, you'll hear what I am. So two, two, two. Exit back to normal screen. I'm still on uh, 30 seconds here, so I need to rewind back. And while this is flashing and I push play, I can rehearse what I want to do. So I'll turn that down a little bit. So it's a bit, be a bit underneath the main vocal. And I'll hit play and rehearse this. And the other track should play back for you. La. I'm happy with that one, so I'm going to rewind back and record what I just rehearsed. And to do that, we hold down the record punch in key again. We're already here, nothing else is going, so we're not going to accidentally wipe our other tracks. So we go to record and play. Now we're ready to record. La, la, la. Stop that when we're happy and we'll rewind this again and test it. As long as that's not flashing, your microphone's fine. So here we go. Push play and we'll hear back what we did. Okay, we're quite happy with what we're hearing, so uh, we'll stop that and we'll turn that recording track off by hitting the direct record button until this one's flashing. Turn it off, it's track 8 off. Exit no to get back to normal screen. We'll rewind it again because now we want to mix it down onto two tracks. So, hmm. We've got two vocal tracks here and one guitar track here. So, um, I think we might pan these vocal tracks one to each side. So, what we'll do here is hit the pan button, which is right here. This will bring up and ask you what to select. So, it's already selected track 8 for me. So, I want to pan it onto the right hand channel. So, I've got stereo singing. So on here we turn the wheel and we'll put one about on that angle and see what that sounds like. So now I want to go to uh, track 7 and pan this one left. So I'll put it at about the same spot on the other side. And as you can see there's your pan angles. So Casey we want to try that so we hit exit no. Yes we've rewound it so we're ready to try this back and play. And while it's playing back, I'm going to adjust the volumes with the guitar to get a mix that I like. Yep, it sounds pretty good to me. If we want while it's playing, we can go to the pan buttons and readjust while it's playing. So you can do all the effects and everything while it's playing. So you don't always have to stop and readjust things but it's just easier to begin with just to learn how to do it so okay and we think uh, yeah I think I'm quite happy with that so I want to mix it down and I want to do uh, an internal mix but I've got talking and stuff on the end of the tracks uh, there's a whole lot of editing you can go into to uh, 
copy, paste, move about, do whatever you like. But uh, we'll get to that. If it's all a bit complicated, we'll show you another bit of software on the PC that makes it a bit easier once we archive the tracks. But for the time being, I want to check it out in the car. So just simply to take the noise out at the end, I'm just going to fade my vocals in and out at the beginning and at the end just to get rid of that. Uh, the first thing we do to go to an internal mix is to hit OK, yes, you've got to hold the shift key down with your thumb and then hit the record track, the direct record track key. And if you look on here, it says int dot mix down, which means internal mix down. So I'll just rewind that back to zero again. So while this is flashing again, it's in uh, rehearsal mode, which means you can play through it a few times and just rehearse it. So this time I want to rehearse fading my vocals in and out at each end. So what I'm going to do is turn my vocals down to zero and I'm going to push play. And when I remember the vocals coming in, I'm going to slowly bring them up. But we're not mixing down yet. While this is flashing, we're just rehearsing. So I'm sliding those up slowly until I've got it where I like it. And just before at the end, before I hear the words again, I'm going to pull it out to get rid of my talking at the end. And I'll fade my guitar out too, because I think I might have bumped that. And then we hit stop. And that's how I'll run my mix down. So I'll rewind that, and that worked perfectly. So I'll put my guitar back where it was. I'll leave these down, because I want to fade them in, and then fade them out. So now I'm ready for my internal mix down. And what this is going to do, it's going to mix down all these tracks onto a stereo, onto two tracks which will be stereo, and they will end up on track one and two. And that'll be ready for us to burn off onto a CD. So, okay, what we do now, I'm ready to mix it down. So to do this, we've got to hold down the record, punch in key, and hit play and that will start our mix down, but we've got to be careful. If we cock it up, we can stop it and go through it again, but we'll get it. Hold down, push play, now we're recording. Up come the vocals. Now I'll just wait to the end of the song and do my fade out. Fade it out quickly, because I think I talked there. That's good, and I'll fade the guitar out. And then I'll stop. There we go. It says, please wait. And as you'll see here, it's taken us to program 5. It goes to the next available clear program and puts your mix down on there. So now what we do, we want to check our mix down. So over here on... Uh, Channel 1 and 2, we'll pl push play first. And yes, we can see it coming up on track 1 and 2. So we'll put those volumes up. Yep, and there it is. But we want to uh, we want to pan it so it's stereo. So we hit the pan button. We, we go to track 1, pan it right to the left. Track 2, we pan right to the right. Exit no to go back to normal screen. Okay, now I want to go back to the beginning and check what I've done. At this stage my headphones are very loud, so I'm just going to turn those down, which is here. Obviously you've plugged your headphones in here. This is your headphone volume. So I'm going to turn that down a bit because it's blowing my ears to smithereens. So I'm going to push play. Yes, that's good. Yep, so that's mixed it down for me, that's great. And if I want again, uh, I can put more effects on the overall whole mix and EQ and stuff, but I'll, I'll go into that in the next one. But at this stage, I'm quite happy that, with that, so I'm going to go and have a cup of tea. And the next one will start with how to burn 
that stereo track off so I can race off my car and check it out. Cool, so I'm just going to turn these volumes down and I'll turn the machine off.